Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edogs82, and we're going to be playing some more Blood and Gold Caribbean today. Aw, oh, yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Alrighty. So, last time we were playing Blood and Gold Caribbean, we got ourselves into a bit of uh, <laughs> cheeky business. We uh, took a job with an English governor, and... He wanted us to covertly take over a Dutch town called Pomeroon for him. And he wanted us to do this by uh, killing his thugs that he sent to capture the, the Dutch governor's daughter. And so I've done this and <laughs> now I'm wooing this governor's daughter and going to dinner with her dad, so this should be interesting. Let's go for a little tea party. Oh man, I hate those taxes. Hey, at least I got money. Let's check out the shipyard real quick before we go to dinner with Daddy Kings. Alright. Let's build up our crew again on the dogs. Alright, and everything on the Zorro is perfect. I could upgrade its cannons and whatnot, but money. <laughs> Anybody in the tavern that we want to talk to? Nope. Let's go have dinner with old Mr. Governor Daddy Hicks. After the dinner of several courses, you get an opportunity to talk to the governor's daughter in private. Ooh. Ugh, that face again. Have you enjoyed the dinner, good sir? The duck breasts were superb, and the basil ice cream made the unfairness of this world seem more tolerable. Where did you find such an amazing cook? He is European, terribly gruff though. You would never suspect that he could cook such delicious meals. Yes, they have a refined cuisine in Europe. As for me, lentil soup with a glass of red wine is best. It's stupid all of these efforts just to stuff your belly. And this is true, dear ear dogs. I am not interested in food. <laughs> Let me guess, you prefer to stroll all alone, daydreaming. Alas, Master Edogs, I rarely get the chance to do so. Walking alone in this city can be dangerous. My other pastime occasionally is helping father with his paperwork. I'll be happy to accompany you on your walks if you so desire. You can show me around, and in return I will entertain you with my anecdotes from my past life. I have to confess, I lamented not having a gallant companion since I do love the dancing and the strolling and everything else, but your business here does not require your... does it not require your constant attention? For you? I am willing to put any of my plans on hold. Forgive my candor, but in your presence I feel so alive, as if previously I had only been a fish lying dormant in ice. 
a fish? You know, sir, no one has spoken to me like this before. You are an amazing person. You have a sweet yet difficult personality. Please, tell me more about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? What do you like? <laughs> I'm a pirate. I'm not yet ready to bore you with such stories. However, I would like to offer something much more thrilling. You are intriguing me, Master E-Dogs. Please continue. I promise that you will not be disappointed, but you will need all your cunning and wit. What would you say if I invited you to a real sailor's tavern? You could hear conversations in a dozen tongues, taste freshly caught fish, cooked to perfection, and served on a hot skillet. What's more, the tavern has the best view of the harbour. Sounds terrible. I don't know what to say. I cannot accept your invitation. Such actions would besmirch my father's reputation. This is precisely why we need your cunning and wit. You are going to dress up as a ship boy. No one would know that you are the governor's daughter. This is your chance. Goodness gracious, you are causing a riot. All right, all right, I accept. As you leave the mansion, you spot a stranger discreetly making signs to you. <laughs> Messenger. Well, E-Dogs, I hope that you bring good news and that you have won the trust of the young lady because now we know where this old prude, her father, gets so much money. Yes. It seems that I have been successful. The girl is truly a dainty bit. So what was it about her family's fortune? Her father covers pirates and smugglers. It was quite obvious. In addition, he imposes his own taxes, raises custom duties however he pleases, confiscates goods on the pretext that the merchants are transporting stolen cargo. And all he did to fortify the island was adding two batteries to the fort. And even those turned out to be a sham. Half the gun crews are missing, and the guns themselves are so rusty, they cannot even be fired. That's quite the list. However, I am not surprised. Now, that you know this, think of how we might trap this bird in a cage. I will do my best. <laughs> All right, let's um, check the quest log. I should meet with the daughter of William De Witt, uh, Witt De Witt again and use her to blackmail her father into delivering the town to William Penn. Okay. Let's go meet with the daughter. You and the governor's daughter have saved some precious hours together and ended up walking along the shore with no one else in sight. Oh goodness, I was petrified. The entire time I was afraid that someone who knows me would pass by and we would be exposed. Oh, I knew all would be well. In this outfit, you are every bit a ship boy, only your face is too pale. And you have an eyelash right here. Look! What a lovely mirror, a precious little thing. How did you come by it? <laughs> it's yours. <coughs> I stole it! Sorry, I cannot accept this. Every time I would open it, I would see greedy hands rummaging through another girl's items. A girl just like me. It's morbid. Please take it back.
Let's use this one. Please calm down. I didn't expect you to make this to make you so angry. This mirror is in fact all I have left of my mother. She did not part with it even when we were starving. She wanted me to give the mirror to my future wife. But I have since realized that I am probably incapable of falling in love and thus condemned to solitary existence. This is why I wanted you to have it. It would be a shame if I got killed in a skirmish and some thug took it. Oh, I'm not angry at all. Please forgive me, I did not know. But why did you give up on love? Don't say things like this. You have your whole life ahead of you. He who has tasted the bitterness of loss and disillusionment is wary of losing again. Think about this, too. Perfect ladies are not likely to associate with a poor fellow like myself, no matter how smart he may be. And you, for example, do not take me seriously. This is not your, it says you, this is not your fault. This is your upbringing. This is not true. Did I not follow you into that tavern at a word? Oh, I would follow you to the edge of the earth. It is not appropriate for a girl to say so, but it's true. Not another word. Oh, dearest, you make me so happy. I did not dream, I, I did not dare to dream about you, but often I addressed you during my sleepless nights. You are wonderful, gentle, yet fearless, and I love you. Bless, blessed is the morning when the villains who attacked you filled my life with a new meaning. I am happy. Is this true? Are you being completely honest with me? If so, I'm so happy you feel the same way I do. I had this feeling that you might not enjoy my company as much as I enjoy yours. Oh, there should be no doubt in your mind. I value every second spent with you. And I understand this might not be quite the right time to ask, but would you consider taking our relationship to a higher level? Leaning in for a kiss. Kiss the daughter. Whoa, I failed. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> I became the... Governor of Pomeroon? Whoops! Whoopsie! That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> At least I have a huge garrison. I wasn't trying to steal this place for myself, but oh well, it happens. Oh, meat is incredibly cheap. Let's, um... So now I am a governor. Hmm, interesting. Not exactly what I was trying to do, but okay. Let's check the garrison out. Do we have any troops here? Veteran elite marine. Nothing. Veteran pikeman. No men here. Veteran musketeer. Nope. Veteran lancer. Veteran dragoon. Okay, so we don't have any men that we can hire here at the moment. But we have a huge garrison that we can draw on. Plus, these guys I can hire as well if I need to. But I'm all good for now. <laughs> Enter your palace. Drillmaster, secretary, sutler, treasurer. 
Okay, so we got stuff here. Oh, look at that, we got some gear. These boots are better than mine. Get some gloves, because we don't have any. Let's get a... No, we're not going to use the tricorn. We wear that. Awesome, and we'll sell that gear here. In town. So let's talk to these gents. Lovely day, my good man. You look like a person who is well accustomed to palace halls. Indeed I am. Uh, indeed. I used to be a treasurer under the Viceroy of New Spain. Alas, the scheming of my enemies has brought, brought me low, or should we say me low, and now I am in, in exile in search of work. Good, I am just looking for an experienced statesman to handle my finances. I am honored. For a fee worth 100 piastres, I would gladly care for your banking and finances from now on. I am interested in your... I'm not interested in your service right now. Very well, welcome aboard. Let's talk to the sutler and enlist him too. Uh, hello. What can I help you with? You have a merchant's look. What's good... What goods do you trade in? I used to be a food merchant, but I ended up doing lucrative contracts as an army supplier. Right now, no general needs my assistance, though. So I am an, am open to offers. I could use a reliable supplier for my army. Excellent! If you wish to offload the supplying of your company on someone else's shows, I'll take the job for 100 piastres. Good? Very well, welcome aboard. Now the secretary. Can I help you more, Swan? It's a rare sight to meet a cultured nobleman at this godforsaken corner of the world. You've got a sharp eye, Monsoir. I was a secretary of Cardinal Maraz Marazarin, directing much of his diplomatic affairs. His death left me unemployed and hated in France. So I travelled the world looking to put my talents to use ever since. Perfect. A man of letters to handle my diplomatic affairs is just what I need. You are getting yourself the best diplomat this side of the Atlantic, Monsoir. If you provide me with a modest pension of 100 piastres, I will happily take care of the external affairs of our young state. Very well, welcome aboard. And finally, the drill master. At your service, sir! You have a, bear you have a bearing of an old soldier around you, sir. That I am. I was there the day that Gustavos Adolfos fell at Lutzen. I fought under Artris at Rossari. Then I trained men to fight until they said I am too old and discharged me. But I am not that old. Then our meeting is fateful, for I am just looking for the right man to drill my army. Thank you, sir. I can drill your troops to do the best in battle, or teach them to take on different roles and branches of service. I would requir require a signing fee of 100 piastres, though. Very well. Welcome aboard. Awesome. We just picked up staff. Let's go to the market and sell this garbage. Well, I didn't expect to <laughs> um, start my own fledgling nation just yet, but okay. Awesome, all of my guys are over here now. Clerk. Good day, sir. How can I help you? Hmm. Just passing by. Banker. Very expensive. 
That can be handy. Bonsoir, I am listening. So you, you need to have clerks managing our businesses in both towns you're thinking of, not to mention some vessels more than one of them. I see. Okay. Let's check this out. Sure, real quick. What the name of your kingdom be? <laughs> Thug life. Kingdom. Traders? Well then, I'll just have to take them to a plantation. Talk to Louise. Yes, my husband. Holy! What? <laughs> How did she become that? I have a new task for you. I want you to reinforce our city. Which colony are you thinking about, sir? Pomeroon. Alright, so I'll head there immediately. Awesome. Let's uh, go ashore real quick then. And yeah, she's here. She's got a party. I just turned her into a a general, basically. That's interesting. <laughs> Fledgling nation right there for you. We are in this plantation and farm awesome. God, God. We should be getting a quite a bit of money out of this, I hope. 
There's our man. Administrator, I have some prisoners for you. Oh, wow! That's a lot of money! Wow! Awesome! Reports, um, weekly budget. We're not making any money, okay? Uh, that's not good. So right now we're at war with the Brotherhood of the Coast. We could go take Providence from them. Let's go back to Pomeroon for one minute and hire some more men if we can. Okay, they haven't resupplied these men. All them. All them. All them. Okay, we got nothing. Looks like we're going to be dipping into this. I'll grab them and them. So we'll have a massive cavalry force. We can upgrade our ships a bit more. So we still have a little bit of money. We're doing okay. We've got our own kingdom. Nice. And now we're going to go after some native tribesmen if we can. Party wages, uh oh. Business ma maintenance, fleet maintenance. Okay. Lucky we have kept our ships in the stinking. Um, port because that would have been expensive. Native War Party. How many of us? 73 versus 52. We can do it. Let's get them. Charge the enemy! Alright, man. Follow me. We're going to take the fight to these knaves. And... Are they across the bridge yet? No. We'll hold here and try and fire upon them. <laughs> Nearly hit them. Everybody charge! Let's go, let's go!
Nice, nice. Go, Cavalry, go. Come here. I want to stab you. We're annihilating them. I think I've lost one dude. This cavalry advantage is definitely helping me. So few of them left. Oh, he's down. And then we win victory. Oh, we didn't lose anybody. They were just wounded. Excellent. You have rescued four prisoners from a life of slavery. Awesome. We got some loot. Who did we rescue? Oh, we rescued Dutchman. Awesome. Let's uh, upgrade that Lancer. And these regulars. Yeah, let's turn them into a regulars. How's our supp Ooh, supply train is not good. Get some grain. Okay. Let's head back to Pomeroon. And sell the loot that we just acquired. No one, hallelujah, not. Check the garrison. They have men. Excellent, but I don't have money. <laughs> Well, let's put to sea, and let's head towards Pomeroon, I mean not Pomeroon, to Providence. Yeah, I wish I put someone in charge of Zora. How's our cargo doing? Oh, no food, no food, no food, back to Pomeroon, back to Pomeroon. Look at that, Luis has picked up some men. Okay. <sighs> Food onto my ships right now. Let's go back. Now. And we've got patrols going even. Nice. And 
Brotherly convoy would be nice. I guess this is about as, as pirate as it gets, you know? Backstabbing the pirates. <laughs> Means we're tight with England now, which is funny. Oh, they have a lot of men. Well... to do this. But anyways, guys. When we come back, we're going to lay siege to Providence, likely by sea. And probably we're going to die. So that'll be fun. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And... I can't believe that we actually made ourselves a governor and got our own kingdom. I've really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys have had a good day. Anyways, my name is eDogs82, and I'm signing out. See you later.